Hi guys, welcome back to Chinese Pod. It's nice to have you back to learn a bit more Chinese with us. I'm your host Cherry, and I'm Alice. 欢迎大家回到 Chinese Pod. Hey Cherry, yeah. Today we are going to talk about something about Chinese drinking culture, right? Exactly. So in Chinese, we call that 中国酒桌文化 where 中国 of course means China, 酒桌 as the table or the place where you're having the drinks,、yes. and 文化 means culture. Um, Cherry, you're、yeah. from Xi'an, right? Yeah. Is that a place with a big drinking culture? Oh yeah, absolutely.、Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's built into our identity. Oh really? So my grandfather, he's really into it.、Mm-hmm. It's to the point where he will have at least two shots of baijiu with almost every meal. You mean every meal, even breakfast? Okay, maybe not breakfast, but at least lunch and dinner, he will have those two shots. Wow! And it's the real stuff. It's about sixty percent alcohol. Have you heard about Mao Tai? Do you mean Chinese Mao Tai? That's the one. So Mao Tai is recognized as the official wine of China. Do you like it?、Mm, for me personally, I don't really like Mao Tai because、mm. it smells like sesame. <laughs> Oh, well, it's my favorite drink. I think I need to take you out for drinks sometime so you can appreciate it a bit more. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So in today's lesson, we're going to be learning a bit more about Chinese drinking culture and some of the vocab that will probably apply in these situations, so you can use it the next time you're in that kind of context. Yes, this will be handy for anyone who goes out for a meal or drinks with Chinese friends or coworkers. Yeah. Okay. So let's listen to the dialogues. Alice， 今天晚上你请吃饭，我们去哪儿吃啊？这儿附近有家新开的火锅店，去那儿吧。好啊，一共几个人啊？咱们喝酒吗？就五个人，那当然得喝酒啦。无酒不成席嘛。那我们带啤酒还是白酒啊？你带点啤酒吧，我家有白酒。好的，好的。那晚上见了。我看你最近生意做得不错哦，我敬你一杯，就祝你生意兴隆啦！啊，哪里哪里，不过最近确实比较忙。来来来，咱俩走一个吧。行啊，感情深，一口闷，哈哈，别喝得那么着急，多伤身体呀。随意随意，也是，咱俩什么关系呀？就不劝酒了。我看时间也不早了，都酒过三巡了，要不然大家就杯中酒吧。是啊，都这么晚了，杯中酒。Let's look at the translation of today's dialogue. Alice， 今天晚上。你请吃饭，我们去哪儿吃啊 ？Hey Alice, since you're shouting dinner tonight, where are we going? 这儿附近有家新开的火锅店，去那儿吧。There's a new hot pot restaurant around here. Let's go there. 好啊，一共几个人呢？咱们喝酒吗 ？Okay. How many people will there be? Will we be drinking? 就五个人。那当然得喝酒了，无酒不成席嘛。It'll just be the five of us, and of course we have to drink. You know the saying that a banquet without alcohol is not a banquet at all. 那我们带啤酒还是白酒啊 ？Well, should we bring beer or some Chinese 白酒？你带点儿啤酒吧，我家有白酒。How about you bring some beer? I have some 白酒 at home that I can bring. 好的，好的，那晚上见了。Okay, well, I'll see you tonight then. 我看你最近生意做得不错哦，我敬你一杯，就祝你生意兴隆了。Looks like your business is going pretty well lately. Here, let me toast to your thriving business. 啊，哪里哪里，不过。最近确实比较忙。Ah,、uh, you're too kind. But yeah, it definitely has been more busy lately. 来来来，咱俩走一个吧。Come on, let's drink. 行啊，感情深，一口闷。Okay, but.
but since we're such good mates, you have to bottoms up. Ha ha ha! 别和他那么着急，多伤身体啊！随意，随意。哈哈 ，Don't drink in such a hurry. It's so bad for your health. Just drink as much as you wish. 也是，咱俩什么关系啊？就不劝酒了。Yeah, you're right. We're such good friends. Let's not persuade each other to drink. 我看时间也不早了，都酒过三巡了。要不然大家就杯中酒吧。Well, it is getting pretty late, and we've all had quite a bit to drink. How about we just empty whatever is left in our glasses? 是啊，都这么晚了，杯中酒。Yeah, you're right. It is getting pretty late. Bottoms up, everyone. 那我们来聊一聊今天对话的内容。今天我们的对话是关于中国酒桌文化。酒桌 refers to the banquet or the table which social gathering is occurring. And here, 酒 means alcohol, and 桌 is referring to the table at which the banquet is happening. So 文化 means culture, and when you put the two together, 酒桌文化 refers to the drinking culture. 在今天我们对话的一开始，就说到今晚你请吃饭。请吃饭在中国社交文化活动中十分重要。In Chinese society, 请吃饭 which means to shout a meal, is a really common way of socializing. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but it is pretty rare for Chinese people to split the bill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So whether it's if you've won today's round of mahjong, if your kid is turning one year old,、um, what else could you 请吃饭 for? Like. If your daughter is getting married, yeah, exactly. So you get the gist. If something great is happening, you would 请吃饭 Okay, let's continue. 这儿附近有家新开的火锅店，去那儿吧。火锅店 means hot pot restaurant, and one of the most famous hot pot is 重庆火锅 Have you heard about it? Yeah, I love me some Chongqing 火锅 Oh yeah, you know about the layer of red oil on top.、Ooh. I live for that stuff. Yep, Chongqing 火锅 is famous by its spicy flavor, and you should definitely go try it.、Mm. So, what's your favorite thing to put in hot pot? I know, like mushrooms. I love mushroom in hot pot as well. Yeah. So the next line we heard was, 好啊，一共几个人呢、啊？咱们喝酒吗？ Here in this sentence, we hear 咱们咱们 is a quite colloquial way to say 我们 They mean the same thing and can be used interchangeably. So, for example, if I was to ask Alice here to come to the movies with me this Saturday, I might say 咱们一起去看电影吧 Or I could also say 我们一起去看电影吧 It means the same thing. Exactly.、Mm. 接下去就五个人。那当然得喝酒啦，无酒不成席嘛。中国人有一句话叫“无酒不成席”。Do you know what that means? Yeah. So let's break up this common saying. 无酒不成席。无酒 means to not have any alcohol. 不 meaning no. 成 means become, and 席 means the banquet that's happening. So, 无酒不成席 If we roll that all together, that means a banquet without alcohol is not a banquet at all. So that really goes to show how much Chinese people value drinking as part of their socializing and part of their culture of getting to know each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 酒对中国人的社交场合来说，真的是不可缺少的一部分啊。那我们带啤酒还是白酒啊 ？That translates to So should we bring some beer or Chinese wine, which is 白酒 Here, 白酒 literally means white clear alcohol or liquor. So this is a Chinese spirit that is made from fermented grain. If you think about vodka as a reference point, which sits at around forty percent alcohol, Chinese 白酒 is basically an upgraded version of vodka because it sits at around fifty-two percent alcohol by volume. It's a really popular drink at Chinese banquets. 
Well, you know a lot about alcohol. Just a little. <laughs> yep. Generally, baijiu seems to be the drink of choice. Yeah, especially at more formal events. So if you were having maybe a social gathering with just your mates and it's pretty casual, yeah. you might choose beer instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next dialogue. 你带点啤酒吧,我家有白酒. And that means, how about you bring some beer, I have some baijiu at home that I can bring. So in China, many families will have some baijiu stocked at home. And this is in case you have friends visiting, you want to be prepared. Yep. In fact, I think all of the men in my family have this secret, but not so secret closet yeah. um, drawer where they keep all of the baijiu that they've collected over the years. It sounds like my grandfather. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see a pattern. Yeah. So if you have friends over, but you don't have any baijiu prepared, then that would be 无酒不成席, right? Yep. 好的,好的,那晚上见啦. And that means, okay, well, I'll see you tonight then. Now, here could be translated into 等 to emphasize the upcoming 晚上见. Let's continue on to the scene in the restaurant. 我看你最近生意做得不错哦,我敬你一杯,就祝你生意兴隆啦. We heard her say, 生意做得不错. 生意 means business, and 做得不错 means to be doing quite well at something. Yep. And then we heard her say, 就敬你一杯, and that means to propose a toast. 祝你生意兴隆, I hope your business thrives. Mm. And when you 敬酒, or propose a toast, you definitely want to begin with the person who is most elderly, or they have the highest rank at the table. So for example, if you were drinking with your colleagues at work, you might start toasting with your manager. 比如说, 敬酒时会先敬长辈或者公司里的上司. Yeah, otherwise it can be seen as a sign of disrespect, and you can't just raise your cup either. It's usually customary to say some nice things before you propose your toast. And this is called 敬酒词 in yep. Chinese. So with your grandparents, you might say 祝您二老身体健康,万寿无疆. And that basically means that you are wishing great health and longevity for your grandparents. Yep. So you really have to think about who you're toasting and then make up 敬酒词 that suits each person. For example, 做生意的人经常要应酬,那你可以对生意人做,祝你生意兴隆. And that means, I hope your business thrives. So whenever I go back to China, for some reason, all my relatives always ask me to give a toast in English, really? even though none of them speak English, and it's just because my little nieces love it when they hear English. Aww. Yeah, they're so cute. Oh, lucky you have a cute niece. My niece is horrible. Oh no. <laughs> like she's the worst. Oh, I'm sure she's lovely. Uh, one of the most common sense you will hear is 干杯, which means cheers. Mm. So when you say this, 干杯, or it could also mean bottoms up, yes. you might want to clink your glasses. And so the rule of thumb here is that the rim or the edge of your glass should always be lower than the person who you're toasting. And that's also as a sign of respect. Yep. 干杯。啊,哪里哪里,不过最近确实比较忙。Here, 哪里哪里 does not mean where where. When responding to praise in some situations, you'll often hear Chinese people say 哪里哪里. Literally, 哪里哪里 means where where. But actually, in a more real life situation, the contextual meaning would be you flatter me, so they're just trying to sort of play off the compliment. It's really just a way of expressing modesty. So, in traditional Chinese culture, Chinese people really value modesty, and it's considered as one of the essential virtues. In fact, rather than saying thank you and just accepting a compliment, it'll be more common for people to say, oh, you know, not really, that's not the case. Yeah. It's not that they're not happy about getting the compliment. So, for example, if um, your neighbor said to you, oh, your daughter's so pretty, the mom might say, oh, 哪里, 哪里. Hmm. That doesn't mean she doesn't think that her daughter is great, she's just trying to appear modest. Yes. 确实 means really, indeed. 最近确实比较忙. Lately, indeed, a bit busier than usual. 来来来,咱俩走一个吧. When we heard her say, 咱俩走一个吧, this is quite a colloquial way of saying, hey, let's take a drink together. 对,一般跟比较亲近的朋友才会这么说. 是啊, 朋友聚会好像经常有酒呢。对话里还听到了一句话, Have you heard the phrase, 感情深? 
一口闷。感情深 means that you have a really good or sturdy relationship with somebody, and 一口闷 means to go bottoms up and just take a shot straight up. 哈哈，别喝的那么着急，多伤身体啊！随意，随意。We heard her say, 随意，随意 You'll often hear this before you drink, and the person saying it is meaning that you don't have to drink your whole shot; just drink as much as you can or as much as you wish. Yes, sometimes you might also hear "wo gan la ni sui" as a polite gesture. And in this case, the person saying it is meaning that they will down their whole glass or their whole shot, but you don't have to, as a sign of respect. 也是，咱俩什么关系啊？就不劝酒了。咱俩，咱 means 咱们，我们 and here means or to 劝酒 persuade someone to drink. Now that you're talking about 劝酒 or persuading someone to drink, my friend and I were having a drink the other day, and we actually talked about this. So sometimes when you're drinking with your Chinese friends,、mm-hmm. it can actually get quite difficult to turn down drinks. Yeah. Especially, you know, by the end of the night, you're getting quite tipsy. Yeah. It gets really hard, and it's for one of two reasons. Or there's two things that people might say to you. First being, 不够意思 Mm-hmm. If you try to turn down a drink,、yeah. and the second is 不爷们儿 Have you heard these sayings before? Yes, 不够意思 means you are not being a good friend, and 不够爷们儿 means you are not being manly enough to drink all of your alcohol. Yeah, and it's quite a mean and annoying thing to say, right? It is. It is. And of course, you'd only really say these things if you were drinking with quite close friends. Otherwise, it would be quite rude. Hmm. 我看时间也不早了。都酒过三巡了，要不然大家就杯中酒吧。We heard her say a really interesting 成语 ，so today we have a 成语 to share with everyone, and that is 酒过三巡。The 巡 in this case means the rounds of drinks that the guests have been through. So if five of us is sharing a meal and each of us has had a drink, that means 一巡 and means one round. Yeah, so 酒过三巡 means that everyone has had three rounds of drinks,、mm-hmm. but this number isn't a strict number. It doesn't mean that you've had three drinks each. It just means that everyone has had quite a bit to drink.、Mm-hmm. The full saying is 酒过三巡，菜过五味 and here 菜过五味 refers to five dishes has been served, and 五味 means five different flavors that points to five dishes. This whole saying is usually referring to the fact that the meal is coming to an end,、mm-hmm. and it also means that everyone has had probably quite a bit to drink by、yeah. this stage. Alice, have you noticed that people will often say 杯中酒 when the meal is coming to an end? Yes, 杯中酒 directly translates into the wine in your glass. It's often said to encourage everyone at the table to finish off whatever is left in their glass, and that symbolizes that the meal is coming to an end. Yes, these words are definitely words for to be remembered. Otherwise, you can get a little bit awkward when you are drinking with your Chinese friends, especially for the first time. Yeah. So in that case, why don't we listen to the dialogue again? Alice, 今天晚上你请吃饭，我们去哪儿吃啊？这儿附近有家新开的火锅店，去那儿吧。好啊，一共几个人啊？咱们喝酒吗？就五个人。那当然得喝酒啦，无酒不成席嘛。那我们带啤酒还是白酒啊？你带点儿啤酒吧，我家有白酒。好的，好的，那晚上见了。我看你最近生意做得不错哦，我敬你一杯，就祝你生意兴隆啦。啊，哪里哪里，不过。最近确实比较忙，来来来，咱俩走一个吧。行啊，感情深，一口闷，哈哈，别喝的那么着急，多伤身体呀。随意随意，也是，咱俩什么关系呀？就不劝酒了。我看时间也不早了，都酒过三巡了。要不然大家就杯中酒吧。是啊，都这么晚了，杯中酒。That brings us to the end of our discussion about Chinese drinking culture, or 
中国酒桌文化。大家有没有学到很多啊？中国酒桌文化是不是很有意思啊？ So make sure you keep an eye out for all the vocabulary that we learnt today, and hopefully you can put it to good use too. So, for example, the next time you hear someone say "bei zhong jiu," you'll know to down your shot and that the meal is coming to an end. Thank you guys so much for learning Chinese with Chinese Pod. I've been your host Cherry, and I'm Alice. Thanks for learning with us. So, seeing as it's a Friday night,、mm. do you want to head out for some drinks? Yeah, why not? All right, let's go. See you guys next time. See you next time. <laughs>